Well, I'm gonna go get myself some water while we talk about some things. All right. Cool, I guess. Cool. So, so what do you want to talk about? <laughs> um. Well, let me let me look up what map. Okay, it's gonna start with clown blitz. <laughs> Next modes are going to be Clan Blitz Magomar, uh, Splat Zones Manta, and Power Control on Sturgeon. Okay, starting with Clan Blitz Mako, we've definitely seen, I've seen that uh, in one of the past paddling pools is like an opening of one of these rounds, and it, mm, it can either be very decisive or very back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, um, oh, yeah. But there is no small the map in between. Is. Yeah, it's just so close quarters. Because if it's decisive, they're in your base and you can't get anywhere near clams. But if it's back and forth, um, like n like no one can really get anywhere near the other person's base except to chuck a couple clams in and then die. So depending on how these teams play, like I can't say for sure. But if there's, I, I would love to see some very aggressive kind of comps. You don't need backlines as much on uh, macro. Like, it can help in certain scenarios, but it's not... Oh, yeah. Um, not to say that a good E-leader can't... Oh, absolutely. So. Good, good E-leader instills fear in the entirety of the other team as soon as they get, like, your three kills immediately out the gate. Um, oh, but... yeah. I've been learning how to just instill fear within people with chargers. Just a bit unfortunate <laughs> that I haven't been playing chargers often. I play ballpoint a lot more now. But I always love, I love, play, I love playing E leader and just getting the one shots. <laughs> Heck, you could try stringer. I there's a pick that I memorized on Mako Mart, mm -hmm. or, or to kill people who try to get onto the left stack with try stringer, and it's a fall off kill. <laughs> it's such a skill <laughs> shot. Wait, do you mean it's like they're coming shot. up the side? You can kind of like, like yeah, like hit them just, over. Before they you can even really see. Oh, that's and there's savage. no laser, so if it just happens, it happens. <laughs> so they don't even know what's coming. <laughs> oh, well, although yeah. they might if they actually paid it, if they could pay attention to someone so far away from them. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just uh, creativeness. But like I said, it's such a skill shot. Can't even rely on it. Yep. Just but when it works, when it works. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah, um, my, my dream is to get an opening like that on the stream one day. <laughs> just, <laughs> just look, just, this is how I describe it. Just look up in the air and then watch them die. I think that's fair. That sounds incredible. <laughs> it's so chaotic. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta re, re take, take a look at the map list again because I have short term memory. <laughs> I'm a Dory. It, like that. Don't worry. That this is why I I end up like writing it down in front of me so that even if it's on even if it's on stream and I look over at stream I'm like, wait, but which one is it? And it's like, ah yes. The words I have written down, the only way I remember them. Um, okay, there we are. I see it. Mm-hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so we'll start this things off on Clam Blitz Marco. We're already talking about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's that's <laughs> that's why. And then we'll go on to Splat Zone's Manta, um, which I have just noticed. I wasn't even paying attention. I have just noticed the entirety of the two teams are in the lobby, which we love to see. Um, and we haven't even talked about how it's half a gambit versus sub comet. Um, now I know, definitely know some people from. Uh, sub comment. I've played against some of these people before. Uh, I don't think I have played or seen them. <laughs> Not even the players of Half a Gambit. Yeah, I think I've definitely seen some people from sub comment, but I don't really know uh, who we're working with here on uh, Half a Gambit. Uh, but I can imagine from that name that this is half of Gambit plus pickups, maybe. But who knows? Um, but yeah, this is. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but I don't know very much. Uh, I don't know about much about them either. The only familiar name that I'm seeing is Arashi, which is it, Arashi, is it the yeah. top level Arashi uh, that we've known from the, I, from the NA, or is it someone else? 
I believe it's someone else. Um, but I think I've played against them before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was like, I was getting brash vibes, but I could not remember for sure if that's how I knew them. But yeah. You're getting brush vibes. <laughs> yeah. How do you get brush vibes? Uh, cause I think I remember playing against a brush called Arashi, but I wasn't entirely sure if I was remembering. It. All right then, let's like let's see if you know you know what vibes I give off. What vibes do I give? <laughs> uh, but you've already told me like bow and ballpoint. Um, but beyond yeah, that's that, true. fair enough. But speaking like of, there it is. All in its glory. I will not give you. A, I will not give you favoritism just because you play my weapon. <laughs> also, brush vibes, brush vibes, and I thought a dynamo. Oh Ooh, my goodness! Neat. We are liking the non-meta. This is always a vibe, um, but that's two down uh, for half gambit, and I think at one point there was. Yep, there's two dollars for some comment. Um, they're trying to get these, um, this freaking clam in, but half a gambit is back and ready to protect it. Um, ooh, good jump, but not able to get what they needed from it. This is already starting chaotic. It's so chaotic. Yeah, um, this has already been like a slugfest since the start of the match. Like, already one pick, two pick. Ooh, ooh. I hate my timing. <laughs> but I love it at the same time. Yeah. Speaking of, half a gambit's down a wipe out. Oh lord. Yep. This is going to be the chance for Subcomet to get a power climb in. Definitely more I don't than think they'll be able to establish a huge lead, but definitely a sizable lead that half a gambit's going to have to figure a way around. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, they're almost halfway through those points there. Does look, yep, they're going to get through them, and they're going to get the whole way down to 35. Um, does not- are they gonna be able to get any more in? Possibly, I think they yes, are. it looks like they are. Oh, Half a gambit really need to get them out! Um, this is, could almost be, um, a, a one cycle, but it doesn't look like they're gonna get the chance. They came close, but they were not able to get, uh, just cycle through the whole basket. Um, okay, this is gonna be... A lot for half a gambit to come back from. Um, it is because uh, already leads down to seventeen, so that's that's already a. Uh, how much math do I have to do to tell you how much they put in? They put in eleven small clams and the power clam. I appreciate that you will do the math for me because I, you you started talking about like figuring out the specifics, and I was like, oh god. My brain just short circuited. I have not done that kind of math in a long time. Um, I don't but... even do that kind of math on the daily. <laughs> 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 I just, I just have good memory of math. I used to do math in my head all the time. But I enough about my educational days. We're yes, already seeing got... a second push of sub comments start off though. I don't think this one's going to be going farther than it did. Just going to eat some of uh, the penalty off, and then eventually yes. they could probably get a knockout push off that. And well, I let's do be real. Mention, do you want to mention that uh, mm -hmm. half a gambit there did not get an additional pity for that because no one grabbed the original, so they had the chance for another oh. pity, but they just they didn't they weren't able to grab the original one, so they're still stuck with the, the pity they had before. Um, so just just a thing that I noticed. Um, yeah, that that's a that's a good point to mention that pity clam wasn't available, but right now I'd say that. Uh, this is a good time. Oh, that was a bit unexpected. Yep, yep, and Mitsuki here is still sitting with a power clam if they're able or willing to jump, but I don't think that's... I don't think it was applicable at the time. Right now yep. I think the best thing for sub comment is just to maintain control and... Looks like the clam basket is not ready to be scored into. And hey, that's a wipeout. Oh my god, that's a wipeout! Oh my god! Yeah, this is... Not looking good for half a Um, just, this is decisive. We were talking about decisive. Uh, <laughs> and that was, they never even got anywhere near the other basket. Um, okay, well, 
half a candidate have got some work to be doing. Um, yeah, they got two matches to win if they want to win the set. Yeah. However, I would say like to say that I think that the more aggressive cop that um, that sub comment was running really did help them out because mm -hmm. they're just able to stay in the faces of of half a gambit a lot more. They have brush to grass. Well, yeah. rat as I like to call it. <laughs> then, our, then there's the dynamo to fall back on, which dynamo just denies so much space. Like even though dynamo is not particularly great in this current meta due to the kit, dynamo as a main weapon can paint a lot and deny space well on those stacks. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, and they were just able to <laughs> to keep up that pressure constantly, uh, and also pick fights very well. Um, just when it, like, sure, there were times when certain people went down, but not to the extent <laughs> that half a gambit was dealing with. Oh my goodness, the wipes, the wipes. Um, but maybe they're, they'll be able to eke something back here. I'm not so sure about it because if they give Subcomet half a chance to push them entirely out and into their spawn, this is not, like, once they're in that situation, it does not seem very likely that they'll be able to get back out again. Um, so, how half a gambit open this next game is probably going to be crucial. But, mm -hmm. we'll have to see. They do have a ballpoint spotling on their team, which ballpoint thrives on Manta Maria. A lot of spotlings mm -hmm. do, actually. So for Charger, the snap is a bit awkward. But for Splatlings, the great the graded area is just in a good area to stay control of. Bunker is always fun to have control of as well. So mm -hmm. you can just strafe very easily on the thin edges that you can walk on. Not to mention if you're playing ballpoint, you still have the inkjet, which can easily get into the higher grounds and wreak yes. havoc. Indeed, which can really cause chaos. Um, so that definitely could be a good pick. For half gambit, and they are sticking with it. They're sticking with their uh, team comp. <laughs> Ooh, double freak? roller. Okay, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Sub comet are going a shorter range, but missiles. <laughs> I, I would have um, thought you would have locked that. I mean, aren't you? No, a no, no. Player? Oh, I am absolutely a roller player. I just was not expecting it. I was not expecting it. Um, the though I think it can it can definitely work if they're if they're ready. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Easy. oh my goodness! Yep, that that can really work for. Yep, it can really work for them. And what did I say? Once they get pushed back, the absolute chaos. Oh my god! Oh, Arashi is taken out of their spawn, which is gonna help them get back in. Um, but that I was gonna say the the cargo is likely to be pushed up in their street, but it seems not. Um, don't worry, Arashi's here to cause chaos. Yet again. Um, but yeah, this is... This is going in an interesting way for them. Uh, but... Yeah, it's going in an interesting way, though. but two picks, two picks, two picks, that's all it takes. So Very right now, important. zone needs to be placed into neutral. Carbon roller down, and now one zone has to be neutral. So now it's up to sub half a gambit to get the other zone. Yep, they're able to get the other zone and establish a penalty, thankfully. It's gonna prolong the game a little bit longer. And oh! How long are they going to be able to... They're able to get it back again and take out Arashi before uh, he can use his, uh, his hammer there. Uh, this might be what they need. Um, yeah, this is definitely what they them. need. However, now mm -hmm. they're going to have to figure out a way to get control of the bunker, because right now it's just the ballpoint overseeing the bunker. Trizuka being popped to fish out that ballpoint, try to get a pick. But now, this is this is a good position, because you see where that... I saw that rapid blaster just poking mm -hmm. the bunker, even though no one was there. Just that yep. knowledge. We can't ignore that brush. That brush just got the wipe yep. out right there. That brush, yet again, Rashi with the chaos, with the hammer, um, able to kind of take our people off on the way past. Um, 
But it does look like this is gonna be, yep, a bit difficult to stay in their spawn, but even... All that... He just kept two people busy. <laughs> um, for... Until they got through the, those penalty points and already rushed back in. Rushed back ready to close. And if they're fighting in their spawn, they can't be at, 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 at the zones. They can't be dancing. Yeah, if there's a fight in the in the spawn, they can't get into the zone, and it's gonna be game. Just there were moments where they were able to bring it back. They were able to take, um, like they were able to get to the zone and keep it for a little bit. But just the aggression that just went straight through the middle of the zones split the team apart, and then they were just able to pick them off. Um, and then once they were back in, once um, half a gambit were back in their spawn. Then every time they were back in their spawn, they were stuck there for 30 seconds to a minute, um, trying to get out. Which just cut through the time that they even had to get anywhere near the zone. That sub comment really got a comp that works for them. Um, I would expect to see them a lot further on in the tournament if they, if they keep it up. But yep, that's a 2-0. Mm -hmm. Well played to both teams. Um, I imagine we'll probably go on a on a break this time. Yeah, I think we could go for a short break because it's going to be a while until we get to the next set. This one ended a bit earlier. So yes. we'll just have to... We'll see you guys in a few. Bye! Stick around though. We'll be, we'll be back soon. right there it? and it's not gonna help them that's a wipeout and of course this means show it that rainbow is yours for taking they get one of the power clams in they're gonna try get that second in. they get a second in. they get a third in that is the ko three down as well shock reef bar oh. uh oh and the double kraken spin it spin the kraken on top <laughs> the checkpoint. Uh, they don't even need to uh they gotta stay on this there's people coming from all sides who's gonna be able to stay on it no 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 robin no, no. he's able to get back onto it Surf's up! It's high time for another Tropical Throwdown! Join us June 10th at 1pm Eastern for your shot at a chunk of the $200 prize pool. Whether you're a squid or a kid, players of all skill and division are welcome. Take this chance at competing with the best players in competitive Splatoon. In celebration of Pride Month, we will be fundraising for a charitable project during the event. We'll see you on the shores. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or are still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today.